everyone, Enigma Coin Collector here, and it's been a while since we've done a mail call, so I thought we'd go ahead and do it. We've got some packages, five to be exact, from subscribers from the United States Mint from purchases that I've made, and I just thought I'd share them with you here on the channel. So let's go ahead and get started. And our first letter comes from Baja Wildman. They reached out to me and asked if I was interested in doing a sticker swap, and I said, absolutely. You guys don't need to send me in anything if you want one of my ECC stickers. Remember, all you have to do is drop me a letter or an email, and I'll be happy to send this to you for free. Yeah, if you want one of my stickers, just let me know. So he says, happiness often sneaks in through a door you didn't even know you left open. Much love, Baha Wild Man, peace, love, and hope. Very cool. And it looks like we've got three stickers here. Very cool. Chef Schmastastic. I don't know them. Peace, love, and hope. And then this must be Baja Wild Man. Very cool. That's going to go on my coin sorter. I keep all my stickers on my coin sorter for the channel. Very cool. Thank you very much, Baja Wild Man. And our next package is from none other than Bullion Baby. And I already opened this, so I know what's in here. But man... Very cool. ECC, brother, I have thought long and hard about what I could possibly do to show you my gratitude for your generosity. Well, how about a beautiful piece of gold? Scottsdale Mint, my fan, thank you, yeehaw, bullion baby. Bullion baby, you did not have to send me gold, and I think it's in between these two stickers of bullion baby. There it is. <laughs> I actually don't own... I can't think of any gold that I personally own. So, Bullion, I think you've sent me my very first piece of gold. And, yeah, that is really cool. Let me get the tape out of the way. There it is. One one hundredth of an ounce. Four nines fine Scottsdale gold. Very cool stuff, Bullion, baby. Uh, it's my first piece of gold that I personally own on the channel. I know I've given away gold coins before, but uh, I'm never giving this away, Bullion. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for that and for the channel stickers. Bullion, that's going on my coin counter as well. Bullion baby with gold? What? Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Very cool stuff. Our next package comes from the United States Mint, and I believe these are going to be the 2022 Kennedy clad half dollars. Now, I am enrolled in an enrollment on these. Um, I think it's important to get them because you don't know what they're going to do. I know last year in 2021, they minted a whole bunch of these and they are not considered NIFCs with the mintage figures that they have on them. So the same thing could happen in 2022, but I do like giving these out as EOSs just so that people can get the complete set. You know, it's 2022. It's nice to have the 2022 halves. And yeah, that's what it comes in. Yep, that's what it is, the 2022 Kennedy half dollar coin. This is the P&D set. Let's go ahead and get into it. I know it's just going to be a you know a half dollar with the 2022 date, but it's still cool to see them for the first time. And there they are. Are these going to be minted in excess or in rarity? What do you guys think? Leave in the comments below. 2022D, I paid $34.50 for these two rolls. So basically pretty much double face value. And here's the P roll. There it is, 2022 halves. You'll see these on my channel here as giveaways. You know, I'll give away a few sets of these, but let me know in the comments below. How many of them are they gonna mint this year? Did I do the right thing or did I just waste 34 bucks? Let me know in the comments below. This next item is something that I have wanted and I finally was able to score it. Um, it's pretty awesome. Um, I really like it. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I splurged a little bit on myself <clears throat> and I got it. So I wanna share it with you. And it comes in this really nice case. So this is the Signs of the Zodiac set that was available. Um, I got mine on Atmex when I was ordering silver for the channel and I saw that they had this in stock and I just had to have it. So this is 12 coins all struck in three nines fine silver 
This is the COA. They have only minted 100 sets of these in the case. They minted many more of them, the individual coins, but as far as this collectible case, they only made 100 of these. 12 troy ounces. You can see it's got an edge, read, readed edge. Three nines fine. It's from Tokilau. It is a Pacific Island. Each one of these is worth $5 face, and it was minted in 2022. So these are 12 coins, one each for each zodiac sign. And they are awesome. <laughs> Let me get a better angle for you. You can see each one has its own coin, each zodiac sign. And I will bring you in close to see these. It is awesome. It comes in this great wooden case. I'll lift these out. Very nicely made. And I got this when they first went on sale. And they actually rose in price as the sale went on. So I got this at a much cheaper price than what it's listed on their website. If it's still even listed on their website. You're able to take these out. And I'll show you each one. This is going to be Aries. I really love the weathered finish that it has on them. There it is. Five dollars in silver. Toki Lao. And I'm probably mispronouncing that name. If I am, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to go through these a little bit quicker. There's Tarus. And this one, Gemini. The twins. Next up, Cancer the Crab. Leo the Lion. Virgo. Virgo. Libra, the scales. Scorpio, the scorpion. Sagittarius. Capricorn. Aquarius. And my favorite, because this is my sign, Pisces the fish. Very cool stuff. So I just wanted to share this with you. Um, I don't usually buy stuff for myself, but this was an exception. It was um, near around my birthday, and it took a long time for this to come in. So it's what I spent my birthday cash on this year. And I'm really happy to have this as part of the collection. I'm actually working on getting a display up for some of my more select coins and collection so that I can have them on display permanently. And this is definitely going to be one of those. And I just wanted to share that with you. Hope you guys like it. If you did or didn't, let me know in the comments below. And our last package for this mail call comes to us from the Philippines, really far away. I have a subscriber out there, the real Gilbert Gann, reached out to me about trading for some American silver. And I said, sure, but it would have to be silver for silver. <clears throat> and I don't own too much foreign silver. And he said he had some. So I and he agreed and we've exchanged packages. He just got his and I just got mine. So I'm really excited to get into this. I did open it already. And there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's a ton of stuff in here. I'm probably going to take some time to go ahead and set this up nice and neat. You can see he sent a postcard. And we've got some slabbed coins here. Um, we've got some American. He said he was sending me some American that he had and some Philippine silver. So let me go ahead and get this out and check this out. This note. Um, very, very nice. With the wax seal and everything. I, and man, Gilbert, you've got... Awesome handwriting there. Um, I hate to break the wax seal, but man, uh, it's just so pretty. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let me get this laid out, set up, and I'll be right back. All right, I've gone through everything real quick and I wanna share it with you. There's some really cool stuff. First of all, the note that Gilbert wrote. I love this paper, I love the calligraphy. I mean, this was done with time and care. And uh, Gilbert, I'm, I'm blown away at how neat you write and how you you wrap this and sent this so thank you very much it says these are some of my good coins as part of the coin trade thank you again for contacting me last time on email along with coins that 
mailed to me along with the coins from the live stream because he won on March 31st. Hopefully you're enjoying these items that I've mailed you as part of the coin trade. You could also send these silver coins as part of a future live stream giveaway. I may do that because I know we do have some duplicates here and I would like to share these with some of the other subscribers. Um, we'd also appreciate your support on Patreon and or Ko-Fi where I post some extra content. So we post some content on that. I assume that's a different social media site than like YouTube, but I haven't checked it out. But if you guys want to check them out there, you can. Again, thank you for the time and take talking with me about the trade. Best Gilbert Gann. That is beautiful penmanship. I know I've said that a few times now, but I'm really blown away. I don't write that nice. Um, this is uh, a, a picture of an erupting volcano. Um, I'm assuming close to where he lives. And you can see here, the very cool postcard to Enigma. Thank you for your time talking with me about the coin trade. If you have time to go on vacation, <laughs> oh boy, that's funny. Uh, you can come and visit the Philippines for enjoyment. Thanks. Yeah, I do want to travel the world. I believe it's going to be later in life as opposed to right now when we've got three kids, but I would like to travel the world. Let's get into these coins. So Gilbert sent me some uh, US currency and I believe um, these all look to be, these are all copper wheat, uh, I'm sorry, copper cents, uh, memorial cents that is. And then these are all wheat cents, mostly 50s. There is an older 50s in here, but there's they're all common dates. I believe it looks like they're original. They aren't really cleaned at all. They've got some really nice patina, but I mean, these wheat scents look phenomenal. Let me see if I can get this to focus here. Yeah, I don't know if the United States brought these over to use in the 50s and 60s, and they just didn't get circulated very much over there, but there's some really nice examples of these wheat scents. Take a look at that. So I'm definitely gonna spend some time to look at these and see if I can upgrade any of my books, um, but there are some really nice examples in there. He also sent some other U.S. currency. We've got what looks to be a polished 1941 nickel. That's cool. And then other nickels that don't look polished, a 41 and a 58. Okay. And a United States dime that looks polished from 2007. So happy to have those. And the real stars of the show we're going to get into here. So I'll start here. This appears to be a... Hong Kong dollar from 1979. That's very cool. I don't have any Hong Kong coinage in my collection, which I now do. I think this is just a token of some sort. Um, I'm sure Gilbert's going to watch this video. He could probably post it in the comments below, but it's a cool token. I don't know much about it, but it's very cool as well. And then we've got this Philippines People Power Revolution. This is a Philippine coin, and this is a coin that I believe is minted in Philippines. Um, we're going to talk about that here in a minute, um, but I believe this is gonna be a commemorative coin. You can see the People Power Revolution, Philippines, February 22nd through 25th, 1986. Um, and it's slabbed using some sort of coin slabbing company that I'm not familiar with. I'm assuming it's a Philippine coin slabbing uh, company, but 1988, 10 peso, uh, Philippines People Power Revolution. I'm assuming that's going to be clad, but that is a really cool, I don't have any foreign commemoratives or not very many, and I really like the slab too, so that's nice. The rest of these coins are gonna be silver coins and I'm really excited about this because I don't have any of these. Um, now, if you don't know the story, basically the United States took over minting power in the Philippines in the early 1900s from the Spanish because they were using Spanish coins. Um, they introduced American coinage, but it was so much more valuable than the Spanish ones at the time that it created a big problem. So basically the United States minted coins for them using our technology and you know, the United States Mint's authority, but they put um, peso and that sort of denomination on that. So that it was kind of a hybrid coin. So, and they're actually opened a mint in the Philippines, the Manila Mint, I believe, um, which is the only mint that is operated that has ever been opened outside of the 48 states, which is really, really cool. I don't think any of these have the M mint mark. So um, that's something I'll have to keep looking for, but there are, these are still really cool coins, minted coins in the United States that were made for another country and then sent over there. You can see this is a 10 centavos, 1945. You can see there's the design. There's the date at the bottom six o'clock position. And then at the seven o'clock position, you can see the Denver mint mark. So that is really cool. I have another 10 centavos, and this one is a little bit more rare. This is a 1913S. 
<clears throat> and I believe there's only a million of these minted. The mint mark's gonna be in the same spot and it's pretty worn, but it is there. I did look under it under the scope. But that is really cool to have that old silver foreign <laughs> currency, but still minted in the United States. And then the rest of these are going to be 20 centavos. These are all 44 or 45 Denvers. But still really, really cool stuff. I like the design. It's something you don't see every day because these aren't around the United States. And uh, I know for him, it's probably easy to get these in the Philippines, but um, it would take some digging here in the United States. And it's a subscriber and he was looking for some US silver. And uh, I thought it'd be cool to get some foreign silver on the channel. So I was happy to make the trade with him. So Gilbert, thank you very, very much. That is an awesome, awesome package. Happy with the trade. Enjoy the United States coins, the United States silver. And I hope you guys checking out what he sent me in return. It was a really cool trade. Well, that's just about going to wrap things up for this mail call. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It had a little something of everything. Gold, silver, foreign silver, clad, stickers, you know, there really is nothing that you can't get mad at because it was a really cool mail call. Remember, you don't have to send me anything to get one of my channel stickers. If you want one, just drop me a line. I'd be happy to send you one. That's going to wrap things up here. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And remember, it's always a mystery until you go to the mailbox, open it up, and see what you got on the inside. See if anyone sent you an email. Thanks for taking the time to watch, everyone. I'll catch you on the next one.